A question asked often is, how do I pray? Like, what do I say? How do I know I'm saying the right thing? When you go to God, think of going to God as a conversation. As you talk to your mother and your father and your sister and your brother, go to him saying, you know, God, man, I screwed up today. I don't know what I did. I don't know how I did this. You know, guide me. But there's also ways when you want to be intentional of how to pray. And I think the best way to really come about explaining how to pray is going to what scripture says. Jesus gave us the perfect example of how to pray. That's the Lord's Prayer, our Father. You can find that in Matthew 6, and you can also find it in Luke 11. Really read through what that scripture is saying and get an understanding of where that even came from. Because just like us, people in the Bible time asked Jesus, how do I pray? What do I say? And this was his response to them. So let's dig, let's dig deeper into that. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespassing as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right, Tanley, what does that even mean? When you go deeper into what Jesus said to do, he said, our father who art in heaven. All he's saying is go to God, greet God, greet him, greet him as our father, call him your father, our father, the God that's in heaven, you know, the creator of all the earth. Lord, you are so amazing. Greet him and praise him at the same time. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Lord, bring your kingdom to earth. Whatever you desire, let it be so. On earth as it is in heaven. Whatever is happening up in heaven, God, let it be on earth. Whatever your desires as you sit on the throne in heaven, whatever that may be, let it be on earth. Give us this day our daily bread. Think about daily bread. Think about bread. What does bread do? Physical bread nourishes our bodies. We're hungry. We're going to eat some bread, right? Well, you can eat many other things, but in this context, they were eating bread. It's filling us. So give us this day our daily bread. Give us today your bread, which is the word of God. Give us something for our spirit today to help us go through the day. And tomorrow, whatever the word may be for tomorrow, give it to us so we can get through the day. It's not just feeding our physical bellies. It is filling our spirit spiritual bellies give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us the word says that we should forgive forgive turn the other cheek we are called to forgive because then our father in heaven will be able to forgive us matthew 6 14 actually says for if you forgive other people when they sin against you your heavenly father will also forgive you we are called to forgive. God will forgive us, but his word says that if we forgive others, then he will forgive us. So we're asking God to forgive us our trespassing, forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who have failed us, who has sinned against us, who has made us feel less than, who has hurt us, who has angered us, who has said the wrong things about us. Deliver us from evil. We are human. We do things that are wrong. And sometimes we even may get caught up in things not realizing that it is not of God. So asking God to really prevent us from getting, getting involved in things that we shouldn't to open up our eyes so we can see what's happening. See what's going to happen before it actually happens. See the evil. See the sin that you could possibly get into before you actually get into it so you can stop yourself. Right. So it's taking the Lord's prayer and saying, this is this is a perfect format of how you can pray. And I'll do another video on how to pray scripture. I kind of gave you an example of how to do that here. But really taking the Lord's prayer and saying, God, this is what you gave Jesus when he was on earth to provide to us as an example of how to pray. Use this as your example of how to pray, taking the Lord's prayer and praying it. But as you're praying it, 
really dig deeper into what it's saying and how it applies to you because that's what's really going to get you into understanding how to pray.